Thanks, Locke. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. And today, Daniela and I are gonna go get coffee with Meredith Rawls. Should be fun. I'm always down for coffee. I think we need to go and get some coffee. Yeah, I, we can make that happen. It's sunny. I know. It's sunny out, so of course we're all wearing our raincoats. Because <laughs> you can't trust it. That's right. It's true. All right, so we're going to go get some coffee. Except for, are we actually getting coffee? I mean, I'll go with you to the coffee place. I'll get coffee. Maybe not get more coffee. I may get a sandwich, too. I'll get tea. So, Meredith, how did your holiday go? It was wonderful. Uh, the whole week in Mexico with board games and fellow nerds, and I wish I could bring like all of my nerding side friends with me because it was a blast. Did you did you know anyone there? Oh, or was it just we'd met some people uh, the previous years we've gone. They have a bunch of panels and uh, science fiction authors and uh, musicians who sing about ridiculous things that are fun. But they're like actual musicians that just got famous on the internet. So, it's fun. And then you go to the beach. Actual musicians, they just happen to be famous on the internet. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like you, but a musician. You're famous on the internet, right? I'm not famous on the internet. Hey, look, a coffee shop. the question. Uh, I'm a postdoc here at UW and I work with the LSST Data Management Group, Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. It's this giant telescope they're building in Chile. It's going to take a, a high resolution movie of the whole southern sky. So if it's making a movie, is it going to be in the center? Uh, probably not anytime soon. That's, not, that's shockingly <laughs> not funded by the NSF. The last. <laughs> so what do you do in your day next? Because you're an astronomer by, by training, I am, not yes. a computer scientist. Correct. That is very true. Uh, yeah, so this is a kind of a unique postdoc. I'm working a lot more of as a software developer with a little bit of research on the side. But mostly what I'm working on right now is processing the images from like, the telescope takes a picture and it has a bunch of garbage in it that is not think, having anything to do with science, right? It has cosmic rays that made part of the image really bright because airplanes. Pictures. What do you do if a helicopter <laughs> flies through the field of view at LSS2? Uh, this will happen uh, once in 10 years. Right. Yeah, yeah, that I is... I mean, or, or an airplane. There are a lot of really interesting... We're gonna... And it's the largest digital camera ever built, right? I think so, yeah, How yeah. many pixels does it have? A lot. All of them. All of them. 3.2 <laughs> gigapixels, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I downloaded the... Um, the wave at Kepler picture yesterday. Oh, sure. And it's, so the whole, so one picture was 406 megabytes or something. Sure. Just for one picture. Yeah, and that's Because it's in RAW, right? Like, it's not oh, in yeah. JPEG. Astronomers shoot in RAW. <laughs> but we don't call it that. Yeah, it's, yeah. We call it fits. We call it fits. Wow. Well, that's the real deal. It's more open source than most RAW formats, though. But way also but worse to deal with. And awfuler. <laughs> I'm excited because it's like actually taking shape, like where you can see the construction kind of happen right. in the little time lapse videos, which is really fun. Because it's, cool. it's like I, this real thing that's actually. Do you happening. think we can find one and include it in this in this episode? We probably good. I so, believe in you. Time lapse now. Wow, that's cool. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> that was pretty good. Movie magic. Or if we didn't find it, we'll delete this. So you made the transition from science to software plus science. Yep. What's your science about? <laughs> What's my science about? Uh, I've, so my, my PhD was about asteroseismology, which is the star quakes, and binary stars, which is two stars orbiting each other and having star quakes at the same time, which mm. is fun to kind of disentangle what's doing what. How many students are you working with? Uh, three. 
Yes, three. Uh, there's an undergrad here at UW, but there's a grad student here at UW, and then there's a grad student at Vanderbilt. Did you work with students during your entire PhD, or did it something you started? Late? No, this was like at the very end of my PhD. Uh, she came to my office when I happened to actually be in town and said, I've tried to use your software to do something. And I was like, oh, my software is horrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and, uh, and then we started collaborating. <laughs> The common that astronomers make, like, I want to use your software. The usual common is, my software is terrible. I'm yeah. so sorry. I don't want to use my software. Yeah. I, true story, I got a sticky note on my door this morning um, from Locke. Oh, under, yeah, the they, they did a whole undergrad uh, sticky note affirmation they, program. I got one, too. It's amazing. Yeah, it's super it, sweet. I, I was very uplifted by the sticky uh, notes, so thank you for that. But the sticky note said, thank you for making your code open source. Oh, nice. And I was like, oh, no, he used my code. <laughs> Open source code is always better than not open source. That's very true. My code is an open source bear trap. You are well, you are free to put your foot in it. Has, has working for LSSD changed the way you write code? Yes, it has. I, I've learned a lot about properly structured packages in Python, for example. Like instead of just here's a script that does everything at once and there's no functions, there's no modules, there's no classes, there's none of that. It was just Meredith wants to do some things and now she's doing them one after another and everything's hardwired to less of that. How much of your time is spent doing documentation versus coding. More should be meant to spend on documentation. More, more should be. <laughs> yeah. That's always true. Uh, the hell got it. <laughs> Three things you like about LSST. Ooh. No pressure there. <laughs> no pressure there, but your boss may see it. Top three favorite things about LSST. It's actually funded and happening. That's a good Knock one. Knock on wood. Or something. I, I'm honestly really excited for the surprise discoveries. That's right, two. That's two. Oh, man. One. So, money. The unexpected. <laughs> um, I like that it's multi-filter, multi -filter, multiple colors, not mm. just one color. Top three things they're paying for half of my oh, that's couple. A <laughs> not paying me, but pay paying my partner. Okay. I am super excited now by what they're doing about asteroids okay. and detecting asteroids. I think Meredith kind of nailed it with the detecting the unexpected. My favorite things are they have been helping fund so money as well. They have been helping, helping fund the hack week or hack days, oh, yes. and so thus helping change the culture of astronomy and how we get projects and how we collaborate. Two, I like that the code base is open source from the go. Yes. And number three, uh, I like that they're here at UW. I like that it's it's something we've been involved in from day one, and I'm a I'm a longtime husky, so I, I got hometown pride. Goodbye to these trees. They I think they're going to get destroyed when they put a new building in. One time I saw a dead crow here.